President Alvarez, a bargain basement politician, always ready to dip his hand into the national till. And as long as his government is in, the till remains open. But who knows for how long? Stand up for your president, you pig. Stand up, you pig. Old Chinese proverb, he who kicked man went down, fall over and feet. Confucius. Get up. Get him out of here. Nothing to declare. One moment, senor. I am Capitan Sanchez, Seguridad Nacional. Really? A little friendly advice, senor. In San Pablo, we do not like foreigners to meddle in our affairs. Do I make myself clear? Absolutely. Whether I take your advice or not is another matter, isn't it? Your passport, senor. Flattering picture, don't you think? Remember, I have warned you, Senor Templar. Friends call me Simon. I'm Diane Holbrook. We were on the same plane this morning. How could I ever forget? Please come in. Thank you. I've come to return Prepare your... my bag. <sighs> and uh, this belongs to you. Yes, that's right. Afraid I made a silly mistake. Picked up the wrong one. It's easily done. They are identical. So they are. Except for what's inside. Oh, I mean, we could uh, hardly go around wearing each other's clothes, could we? Not really. Why do you need the gun? That's none of your business. Guns are for shooting people. Who did you have in mind? President Alvarez? Or is this just for your scrapbook? Can I have my bag now, please? You haven't answered my question. <laughs> really, Mr. Templer? Do I look like a political assassin? Now, if you don't mind. I expect we'll uh, see more of each other. I doubt it. I'm only here for one night. I'm flying out first thing in the morning. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Templer. Bon voyage. The freedom fighters again? More trouble? Last week, they attempted to sabotage the power station. They must be dealt with, and soon. Before they get too powerful. Up to now, they're just a bunch of terrorists with guns. Shouldn't be too difficult. So what are we waiting for? Portal's return. Where is he now? Somewhere in the mountains. And when he gets back to San Pablo... We will know. How? We have an informer on the inside. And then what will you do? Shoot him. Oh, I don't mean all of them. Just Hortel, a few key men. 
Once they're dead, the whole movement will collapse. I don't know. This seems a very severe step. It's got to be done. And soon. Unless you want a full-scale revolution on your hands. But there must be another way. There isn't. These men are dangerous. Can't you get that through your head? All right, Captain. Wait for me outside. Look, how much did you take in royalties from the San Pablo Oil Corporation last year? A lot. And so did you. All right, so did I. And if the Americans pull out... But they cannot. Oh, yes, they can. And they will. First sign of trouble. Then where's the money going to come from? No more trips to New York or Paris. No more wine, women, and song. Is that what you want? Well, of course not. And stop being so sensitive. You can't afford half measures. These freedom fighters have got to be smashed. Hortel and a few others must die. All right. Do what you think best. But don't bother me with the details. Well, he agreed. He usually does with you. What does that mean? Nothing. Except that sometimes I get rather curious. Well, yeah. what about? About you. You arrived here four years ago out of nowhere. And suddenly you're the president's right hand. Left hand, too. As long as you remember that. Gracias. Senor. Yes, and uh, tell Senorita Consuela to join us when she's ready. Of course, Senor Lawrence. If I might intrude on your pleasure, I have news hmm? of the freedom fighters. There is to be a meeting here in the city tonight. Where? I don't know yet, but it must be important. The rumor is that Hortal himself will be present. Let me know when you have something positive. Not for me. 
You ought to relax sometime. Don't you ever forget you're a cop? Never. You want it on the telephone, Captain. Your headquarters. You see? I am not allowed to. Captain Sanchez? Yes? Send the car and three men to the Casa del Sol at once. Right. And let me talk to Jose. Jim Foster. Surprised? Well, Diane, what are you doing in San Pablo? Celebrating my father's funeral. What? He died two weeks ago, in prison. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just bet you are. No, really, I, I didn't know. Of course you didn't. You're far too busy playing the big man down here as Victor Lawrence. Look, why don't we go someplace and talk? Later. I haven't anything to say. Now, listen, Diane, there's a whole lot of things you don't understand. My father trusted you, and in return, you killed him! <laughs> Yo! Get away from him! I'll cue the lead. Come on. They cannot have gone far. One man and a girl. Cordon of the area. See, Captain. Search every house in every street, but find them. Especially the girl! Your gun. Yeah? Why did she try to kill you? I have no idea. You don't know her? I never saw her before in my life. That makes it even more mysterious. A girl you have never seen before, or say you have never seen before, wants to kill you. I wonder why. He's a crook, a swindler. He killed my father, and you stopped me. Come on. Hey, you! Standard welcome around these parts. Enrico, Pablo, blindfold them. Quick, quick. Hurry. All right. Now take them along. Now, keep watch. All right, you can take your blindfolds off. Ricardo, bring our guests over here. Please, sit up. I think a few introductions are in order. Of course. I am Jose Hotta. Ricardo de Caldo. Procendo Vargas. Well, that's better. Not that I mind being kidnapped. I just like to know who's holding the gun. <laughs> You're a cool one, senor. Simon Templer. Uh, this is Miss Diane Holbrook. Why have you brought us here? Because we hear of your attempt on the life of Senor Lawrence. You're the freedom fighters. You knew? I guessed. I've seen enough policemen since I've been here to tell the difference. In that case, you'll forgive me for having brought you here in this unconventional manner. You understand, we must take every precaution. If that pig Sanchez and his police locate us here, we shall all be dead by the morning. An occupational hazard of the revolution business, surely. You seem to know a lot about what is happening in our small country. I know from what I've seen so far that the sooner you get rid of this present lot, the better. Good. Then, uh, 
Then you will, he will help us? I was just waiting for the invitation. You talk like a man, senor. It will be good to have you with us. Not if you go on hitting me, it won't. And you, Miss Holbrook? No, wait a moment. She's in enough trouble already without getting into any more. Besides, I don't see how I can help. You can begin by telling us all you know about Victor Lawrence, why you tried to kill him. Yes, I'm rather curious about that myself. I, I know half the story. What's your interest? <laughs> Victor Lawrence is the most powerful and hated man in San Pablo. He is Minister for Internal Affairs. He is the President's right-hand man. He is... He is also a thief, a coward, and a wanted criminal. His real name is James Foster. He was my father's partner, a firm of investment brokers in London, until about four years ago. Go on. There was some money missing from the client's accounts, about $200,000. And Mr. Foster had disappeared. My father knew nothing about this, and yet he was put in prison for five years. It was too much for him. He was an old man. He died. So you have recognized Foster's picture in the newspaper cutting and came here? Yes. Then, uh, well, you know the rest. Miss Holbrook, have you told this to anyone else? No one. If Lawrence thinks you can expose him, he'll try to kill you, I know. And get her out of the country. It will be difficult. The police are searching everywhere. Open up! Police! I suggest you get Miss Holbrook to make a written statement about Victor Lawrence. It will help our course enormously. Not only to discredit him, but the whole crooked regime. Will you? Of course. I'll be glad to. We'll be very grateful. And then, as Senor Templar says, you must leave San Pablo. It is too dangerous for you to stay. Ricardo, you'll arrange it. When do you want her to go? Well, as soon as possible. How are you going to get her out? There is no problem. I will take her over the mountains to the border. One small point, senorita. Have you got your passport with you? No. I left it in the hotel. Oh, it's easy to get you across the border, but once you're in a strange country without documents... I'll go and get it. Is it in your room? Yeah. Where? In the drawer on the dressing table. Here's the key. Thanks. She's very dangerous. The police have your description. They will be watching for you. I could take him. The back way. Good, Rosetta. Go, and be quick. Be careful. How long will it take us? We can be there and back in half an hour. See you later. Good luck. The parking lot at the back, senor. Come. You try the fire escape, senor. I will wait here. Give me two minutes. All right.
you are or we'll shoot. All right, the truth, Senor Templar. I told you. Where are the freedom fighters? I've never heard of them. You're lying. They helped you get away. Where did they take you? I know what you're talking about. Where is the girl? Was she there too? What girl? The girl who tried to kill Senor Lawrence. Oh, did you? She showed remarkably good taste. But why? Why what? Why did she try to kill Senor Lawrence? He's here. Ask him. Why did you do that? Because you're wasting your time. It was unnecessary. Take him by the stairs. Very well, since you asked so nicely. All right, inside. Take him to a cell. Sanchez. Good. Do nothing yet. Wait until I arrive. The freedom fighters, we know where they are. He has been gone too long. They could have been to the hotel and back. Three times by now. Do you think the police... Anything got... is possible. I do not underrate Sanchez. He is no fool. They could have been waiting in your room. There is something wrong. I can smell it. What do you suggest? I'm going to find out if something has happened. What happened? Where's Templar? They got him. How? The police. They were waiting at the back of the hotel. Pablo! Polizia! Polizia! What say you must go? I can still use a gun. No, you we cannot afford to lose. Enrico, Vargas, help him. Besides, there is the girl. She must go with you. Get him out. Break the door. Help him. We'll go to the house of Vargas. We'll be safe there. Go on. We will hold them. Shoot it down. Where is the girl and the hotel? Where are they? <laughs> Take him away. Where did they take the girl? I don't know. We're bound to find her in time. But you want to get her first. Right again. I'll make a deal with you. You tell me where to find Diane. I'll get you out of here. Out of the country. With fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars, huh? That, uh, sounds like a reasonable offer. You'll do it. 
Oh, I, uh, I would, except for one little thing. What? I don't like your face. I'll give you one hour to think it over. Nothing but offers. Guard! She is safe with Otal. Where? Vargas is hiding them at his house. The others? Enrico and Pablo captured. There were many dead. I'm sorry. is on. Sign it, please. What will you do with it? I have copies made, thousands of them, distributed to the people. And then what will happen? We can only hope that when the people of San Pablo know that their senior minister, their present government, is a wanted criminal, they'll get rid of him. Will that be enough? I hope so. I hope so. No people can ever be trampled on and cheated forever. And President Alvarez? Rather than face a scandal, he'll resign. And you'll take over? If the people wish it. <laughs> I hope they do. Thank you. It will take time, but we shall succeed. It's bad news. What is it? Our headquarters was raided. Everyone captured. Enrico and Pablo. Gone? Shot. They were brave men. And my friends. Mine too. Delgado? Being held at Securidad headquarters. With Templar. But they can't hold Simon. After all, he saved Victor Lawrence's life. These people do not need reasons. It's a dictatorship. Men are imprisoned and shot on the president's whim. I must go. There's much to do. But, senor, you, you cannot. The, the police are everywhere. You will be caught. I will be careful. Keep the senorita here. When it gets dark, I'll send Morales to take her to safety. Miss Holbrook, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. I hope we shall meet again. I hope so, too. Good luck. Thank you. You will be careful. Do not worry. Senorita, you are hungry, perhaps, huh? No. I'm suddenly very tired. Is there anywhere I could lie down? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, come with me, please.
I'll call you when I'm ready. All right, Templar. I want your answer. Well, now. I've uh, had time to think about your little proposition. You uh, have a point. At any rate, I'd rather be a live coward than a dead hero. I thought you might. So, where's Diane? Cash first. $50,000. I'll see you get it. Oh, that's uh, not good enough. I want it in my hot little hand. And uh, get me out of here, that is part of the deal. After all, if I don't keep my word, you can still have me shot. All right. Guard! Guard! Now, no, do me a favor, will you? Now, what do we do? Get out of these. Captain Sanchez? Yes. This is Rosendo Vargas. You let him get away? But I had to. I couldn't stop him. But I have the girl. Yes. But in my house. Yes. Well, hurry. If you try to escape, senorita, I will kill you. And I will be given a medal. We are mad, senor. The building crawls with police. Oh, it makes life interesting. Come on. Hey! Why are you taking him? Well, the captain wants him. More interrogation. Move on there. Guard! Guard! Here, take these things off. Come on, hurry up, you fool. With two men. Sanchez! Come here, quickly. Nothing foolish. Move over. Oh, he's been a good boy so far. I think we'll let him out at the next corner. Let's get rid of the car. It's too conspicuous. You are right. From here, we can go on foot. Through the back streets, it is not far. Where are we heading for? The house of Vargas. We will be safe there.
Ah, Miss Holbrook, how nice to see you again. Senor Lawrence is most anxious to talk with you. Take her out. Am I to be rewarded? But of course. Senor Templar, you managed to escape. It's good to see you alive. I get the congratulations. Sanchez has got the girl. It is true, Jose. That is not possible. I only left her an hour ago with Vargas. Vargas is a traitor. He sold her out. I have taken care of him. Do you know where they've taken the girl? No, not yet. Why have you brought me here? Please, sit down, Miss Holbrook. There is something I want to know, and only you can tell me. What do you know about Senor Lawrence? We have located the girl. She's being held at the President's palace. A palace? Are you sure? Si, Senor, quite sure. She was with Captain Sanchez and two other policemen. They are still there. Some of our men are watching. You have done well, Chico. We have to get her out. But how? Victor Lawrence is desperate he'll have her killed. But the palace is strongly guarded. There are soldiers everywhere, and the president's personal bodyguard. It is impossible to get in. You've said that before. Gentlemen, the revolution is going to start at once. But how? We are not strong enough. We have not enough arms and ammunition. We cannot take on the army and the police. Soon, perhaps, but not now. There's something else, Senor Templar. You know what an armed uprising will mean? Death and destruction, innocent people being killed. I did not want this to happen. No, it's not what I have in mind. I want a radio engineer, an expert. We have such a man. Chico, he's in charge of our communications. Go get Hernandez. Tell him to come here. He will be with us soon. Good. Now I'll tell you my plan. Stay where you are. And strip. All of this you have told me, is it true? Every word of it. Good. You will remain here. I shall be back soon. And please, Miss Holbrook, do not try to get away. I shall leave a man outside. <laughs> You're not to worry. Good. This has better be good. It is. I have just had a long talk with Miss Holbrook. You found her? Where is she? Safe for the moment. She was very informative about a Mr. James Foster. Of course, I know nothing about this man at the moment, but if I should find out anything, uh, for instance, that he was wanted by the police in another country, it would be my duty as a policeman Yes, yes, to... all right, all right. Come to the point. So she told you? Yes, but I suspected something all along. Hmm. Well, what do you want? Money? Power? Both. Shall we discuss it privately? 
You are new. I have an important dispatch for the Presidente. Where is Miguel Camara? Oh, he is uh, sick. Uh, fight last night in the cantina. Trouble with some girl. <laughs> he always has trouble with a girl, that one. <laughs> All right. I suggest you read it, Senor President. All of it. Who are you? My name is Simon Templer. I uh, borrowed the uniform to get in to see you. Lies. All lies. Then ask Miss Holbrook. Captain Sanchez is holding her here in the palace. Ortega, find Captain Sanchez. He's somewhere about in the palace. There is a girl with him. Bring them both immediately to my office. And at the same time, bring Senor Lawrence. We'll get to the bottom of this. Well, while we're doing that, mind if I sit down? It will not be long now. About five minutes. Are you sure this will work? When we rebroadcast, our transmitter is strong enough to reach all the radios in the immediate vicinity. Templar's been working with the Freedom Fighters. He broke out of jail last night. What's he doing here? He came to bring me this. Read it. I would like to know what it means. But is it true? Are you this man, Foster? Remember, these things can be checked. Yes, I'm Foster. What about it? Do you realize what it means if this is made public? The chief minister of my government, a cheap crook, an embezzler. What do you think you are? You've been stealing from the treasury for years. To finance your gambling debts and your movie stars and everything else. You seem to forget to whom you're talking. I don't forget anything. For instance, your bank account in Geneva with 20 million Swiss francs. I know it all. Only reason you like being president is for what you can get out of it. You don't give a hoot for your people, how they live, what they earn. What do you care about my people? Nothing. But at least I'm honest enough to admit it. All right, so I stole $200,000. But you've been getting away with millions. Gentlemen, I think you ought to know there's been a revolution. So whatever ideas you may have for hushing this little scandal up, you'd better forget them. It's too late. The cat is out of the bag. Listen. The freedom fighters are in complete control of the army. They've also captured the radio station and the airfield. And here we have a conversation recorded only a minute ago between President Alvarez and the Minister of Internal Affairs, Senor Victor Lawrence, at the President's Palace. Yes, I'm Foster. What about it? Do you realize what it means if this is made public? The Chief Minister of my government, the cheap crook and embezzler? What do you think you are? You've been stealing from the Treasury for years. Finance your gambling debts, your movie stars, and everything else. You seem to forget to whom you're talking. I don't forget anything. For instance, your bank account in Geneva with 20 million Swiss francs. I know it all. What are we doing? The only reason do? you like being president is for what you can get out of it. <laughs> 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 and now, I give you our new president, Jose Hotel. People of San Pablo. This is the day we've long been waiting for. The forces of liberty have triumphed at last. And I can promise you, we will give you government that is fair, clean, and above all, honest. In the interest of you, the people at heart. That'll make a change, won't it? Right at this moment, President Alvarez is signing his resignation. Hmm. We'd uh, better get on with that, hadn't we? Kind enough to sign here. You can sign your own life away, but you're not taking me with you.
Jordan. Take him, compadres. We have done it, Senor Simon. We have done it. That's what was there ever any doubt? You better take this. The president was kind enough to sign it. A bloodless revolution. Everything is as normal. Where is the fighting? Here. It's a transmitter. Everything you said was picked up by a van outside the palace walls. Recorded, then rebroadcast. <laughs> ah! Senor Jose Otal, new and exalted presidente of San Pablo. <laughs> Well, Simon, where do we go from here? Never ask a silly question, darling. Not in front of the whole world. 